Hello, I am Panos Kotathanasis and this is Asian Movie Pulse Reviews. Today we are going to speak about uh, the newest release by WellGo USA, a Korean film uh, The Wild by Kim Bo Han. It's a film uh, that starts about boxing, but soon it changes into something completely different. It's, it's on par with the style that we usually see in Korean films about boxing. We have titles like Crying Fist, Always, or Fighter, uh, which essentially use boxing as a base in order to talk about something else, usually social commentary or other topics, or to present a story that starts from boxing but moves in completely different territories. Uh, before we continue with the story, let us take a look at the trailer first. There's one way to go. That way? What's that? It's hard to get hit by the wind. If you hit the wind, you have to hit the wind. The wind is a dog. The wind is a dog. 이 새끼가 개를 버리는 법이니 내가 지기고 싶지? 그러면 우리 최명주 씨 나랑 일어나 하셔야겠는데 하수는 눈앞에 패만 보고 고수는 만들어서 먹는 법이야 맛있게 조정건이는 돈 갖고 나는 약 챙기고 너는 여자 데리고 떠나 만약 실수로 실수로 일이 틀어지면 어떻게 되는 거니? 누가 나를 위해서 최선을 다해줄까? 난다 가라밖에 없잖아. 어떤 사람 살릴라면 다른 사람 죽일 각오를 해야 돼. 우리 어디서부터 잘못된 거냐? So, uh, regarding the story, uh, I will read the synopsis from uh, Wolgo USA side. Uh, Wu Tseol used to be a successful boxer, but he had to go to prison because his opponent died in the middle of an underground illegal match. Uh, now that he's been released, he intends to become a model citizen. Meanwhile, his friend Dosik, who is the head of a mafia, of a, of a mafia gang, let's say, of a mafia organization, we do whatever it takes to get ahead. And uh, the two of them start as friends, but uh, the relationship becomes more and more complicated while more characters enter uh, the whole narrative. To go a little bit more into the movie, after a rather impressive intro that seems to show some events of the past involving uh, a boxing, the underground boxing match I already referred to, and and the death that takes place, we are into, we are going to the present arc, the present timeline, where uh, we see the protagonist uh, Wotzel just being released from prison, and uh, Dosik, his friend, waiting for him along with uh, Yang Yi, uh, his bodyguard, who, uh, whom Dom Sik essentially asks to be very polite to the newly released, but he has a bit of an attitude, which, okay, but he tones it down under the instructions of uh, Dosik. Well, the two of them take uh, the two of them take Wotzel for what is essentially the best day a just released prisoner could have. They, they take him for dinner at a restaurant by the sea. They they drink, they get filthy drunk, and then when he goes to his apartment, uh, a rather beautiful prostitute is waiting for him, uh, Myung Ju, who is another of the protagonists of the movie. But uh, Wotzel being the guy who he is, he does not indulge in what everyone expects him to, particularly when he sees that uh, Myung Ju has signs of uh, committing suicide in her hand. And uh, the two of them eventually become uh, friends. Uh, at the same time, we are introduced, uh, on the later scene, we are introduced to who is the villain of the story essentially. It's detective Jo Jeong Gon, a rather corrupt cop who, who indulges in drugs, and, uh, has a relationship with prostitutes, including Myung Joon, and is in general uh, 
a ridiculously bad person who is who needs drunk who, who needs drugs in order to function uh, but despite his behavior uh, Dosik treats him like he's his boss or something we see in the first thing that they are introduced that uh, the policeman slaps Dosik and then slaps also Yang Yi repeatedly and the two of them cannot do anything because uh, he helps them they have a collaboration let's say uh, this collaboration becomes much more apparent a bit later on when we are introduced to a North Korean uh, owner of a, of a boat who is transferring drugs from North Korea to South Korea. His name is uh, Gak Soo, and you will probably recognize the, the actor. It's Odal Soo, who was rather famous playing usually secondary comedic roles in some of the biggest blockbusters of Korean cinema. But uh, after another case of uh, sexual accusation regarding him, he has been in the background for quite some time. And now gradually he's beginning to get back in the movies again, but uh, very slowly and in smaller uh, less, let's say, famous parts. Uh, okay, as you can assume, there's also another, uh, let's say, entrepreneurship that takes place because uh, the aforementioned policeman, Dosik, and their whole organization, apart from the drugs, are also running uh, a hostess pal, essentially prostitutes, which uh, uh, Myung Jo is one of the top there. And uh, Dosik, in order to find for Wotzel something to do, he has him working as a bodyguard there, something that creates a number of problems since Wotzel comes very close to Myeong Ju, who has some troubles both with the organization and with uh, Zhou Zhongo and the policeman. And uh, okay, then Gak Su, the North Korean, also gets involved in the whole cases. The drugs are there, and it seems that. Everybody has their own agenda, willing to do something uh, and escape, let's say, get ahead of the others, with Wotzel essentially being caught in the middle. So that is more or less the story, which, okay, there are, there are many benefits to the story, but it is easy to say that the script and the pacing are quite problematic because there are too many things happening with too many characters and the movie moves very very fast occasionally annoyingly fast like constantly things are happening every new scene is a new event and uh, the time frame is a bit strange we don't know how much time has proceeded or we don't know the reasoning of the actions of the protagonists are not very clear and in general while the story seems to be good as a premise, the execution, both in script writing and direction, suffers. I feel that there was enough story here for a 10 episodes, maybe even more TV series that was condensed to a movie, which does not work very well. Uh, there are also a number of other problems in the movie. For example, we have this uh, repeated flashback to the boxing match, which is the presentation is rather bad with the saturated colors, very fast editing, which seems to be there to cover some of the problems. We hear a bit of heavy metal music, but it stops really quick. Uh, the coloring is weird. We have the arena, the boxing stage is filled with water for some reason, with the two boxers playing there. and. But, I didn't like this presentation at all, and the fact that it gets repeated throughout the movie is also a problem. Uh, the, the creators obviously tried to give some visual flair to the movie, but with intense coloring, we have some neon lights, a bit of noir presentation, uh, and another, a number of other visual tricks. We have an action scene that is uh, on the style of old boy, let's say, somewhat, but uh, the execution, again, it does not work that well. Uh, okay, this, however, is a secondary problem, as I mentioned before, the problem is with the script writing and the fact that there are too many episodes, too many characters, and the whole thing is moving too fast. 
not to mention a number of cliches and the ever-present melodrama that takes over the film and never actually stops, maybe very, very briefly. Apart from that, all this, apart from that, there are a number of things that make the movie definitely worth the watch. For starters, we have the acting, with the casting in general being excellent and the actors doing their best to portray the roles. Okay, we, we have to start with Park Sang-wook as Wotsel, who gives another great performance. So he, he is one of the top actors in Korea, maybe not on the very top, if I just say that, Lee uh, byung on and Choi Min-sik, but uh, he's just under them and he's always decent in his movies and this is not an exception. Uh, particularly the way he treats uh, Myung Jo in a kind and sensitive way, but Re repeatedly he loses his temper and becomes violent. This is impressive to watch with this, the violent scenes being the, the zenith of his performance, both when he is getting punished and when he, he is the one doing the punishing. Uh, Oda Juan as Dosik is also quite good. Uh, he has this role that he acts friendly towards everybody and he is the brains behind the operation, but he is also cunning and has this hope of escaping the setting that he is living now, which makes him relatable somewhat, although eventually he, you know that his role is not exactly what he seems to be, and in that regard he's quite good in also hiding it, who he really is. Okay, we... Ju uh, Suk Tai as Detective Zhou Zheongon is also very nice, a very good villain, he like presents this truly despicable character with no redeeming qualities apart from his street smarts, let's say. And the fact that he is weak, uh, vindictive, but also exploit his power as a policeman as much as he can, including essentially torturing Nyong Ju, makes him uh, very, very despicable, and, but in an appealing way, he presents his character in an excellent fashion. And uh, talking about Nyong Ju, Seo Jo Hye is very beautiful woman who the role suits her quite good. She also has her transformation. She's completely different when she's interacting with uh, what's uh, like being nice, cute, funny, and being hard, uh, distant when she's working. Okay, it's a prostitute, but also the way she deals with being a drug addict is occasionally impressive to watch. Particularly the scene in the finale is one of the most memorable in the whole movie. Okay, we also have uh, Ho Dal Su, who is good as always, but in a role that's very different than what we have gotten used to him. He's like a villain who becomes something different as time passes with his whole rack, rack tack look suiting him very well like probably the best of the secondary characters here and uh, even uh, uh, Won Woo who plays uh, Yang Yi is also a very good secondary role he, the fact that he loves Dosik is very is evident but at the same time that he's very angry and he cannot control his temper is one of the main aspects of the narrative and he works really good at that the chemistry between the actors is also excellent, with their interactions being impressive to watch. And uh, in general, the acting and casting, I have to say, is probably the best aspect of the whole movie. Uh, the, second, uh, uh, the second trait, I would say, of the movie is definitely the action, uh, with, uh, with uh, Kim Bo Han presenting it in, in brutal fashion with the blood uh, raining all over the screen on occasion. Okay, he did. He does not go overboard. This is obviously cinematic approach. It is not as gritty, let's say, as in films like uh, The Chaser or uh, I Saw the Devil. It's toned down, but uh, the way he presents the violence and the, and its brutality is quite good. With the combination of sound and the image being in the ideal in that regard. Also, the visuals in general, apart from what I mentioned, uh, are quite good. We have some very impressive scenes with the panoramic shots 
of the area being very, very memorable, some of them truly outstanding. And uh, the framing and uh, the whole visual aspect, let's say, communicate that this is a claustrophobic uh, setting that the protagonists inhabit in all their settings, both in the hostess bar, uh, club, or what is it, and their apartments. You can feel that they are trapped, all of them. And also, it's very interesting the way some of the scenes inside cars are portrayed, which highlight the great job done in the cinematography. Uh, regarding the editing, okay, we told, I, almost, I already mentioned that the pace is almost frantic with every scene having another event. And uh, I'd say that this speed actually makes the film more easy to watch. It makes it also hard to take your eyes off the screen because if you blink, you lose a part of the story since it's, the events are non-stop. And I think in that regard, we can say that uh, the film, that the editing of the film works quite well. So in general, uh, okay, this is a film that definitely deserves a watch. Okay, it has its issues. It's not great masterpiece or whatever you want to say, but uh, considering the casting and acting, uh, the way the action is presented, uh, the visuals and the fact that is, <clears throat> it is so fast that it's very easy to watch. Time passes really quick uh, as, you're watching, uh, as you're watching the wild. I think, yeah, it deserves, it definitely deserves a watch. You will not be utterly impressed, but you will have some. You will have a nice time. As I mentioned, the film is available for from Worldo USA, and you can start watching it on streaming platforms uh, really soon. And uh, that's it, more or less. This was uh, Az and Movie Pals uh, reviews. I'm Panos Kotsafanasis, and hope you have a great day. Also. If you like these videos, which we will continue doing, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.